Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you all the beauty sales that I took advantage of. I have a haul for you today, so if you're interested in seeing what I got, keep watching. Okay, so as you know, typically Black Friday's the madness that kicks us off into the holiday shopping season for most of us. A lot of us are really good about being early shoppers, but me, Black Friday is kind of where I start to lose my mind. In general, I've been really good this year about not shopping too much, but like literally the handle is off. We are on and set for holiday shopping season and I wanna show you the goodies that I got. So if you're new here, welcome, my name's Yadi. I like to talk about makeup, all kinds of makeup, luxury makeup, drugstore makeup, indie makeup. So if that's your thing, consider subscribing. We do some get readies with me. And we also like to talk about new makeup releases. The links to my socials will also be in the description box below so go check me out there because it's a lot of fun all right so we're right in the middle of vlogmas we're uploading every single day in the month of december i'm having a lot of fun and i want to show you what i got okay so maybe one of the most popular beauty sales when black friday was announced was pat mcgrath now i did finally give in and shop the huge sale she had which Let's be honest, we're a little confused because there's another big sale going on right now. But I want to show you what I got. I'm going to leave that towards the end because they also just announced another release of hers. And I think we should talk about it. So I didn't shop from Sephora much because they had just finished their Sephora VIB sale, which I kind of went ham on. I went a little crazy. So I did pick up stuff from other brands and eventually Sephora too. I'll show you what I got. But the first one that I actually just gave into, I ended up getting like 15% off or I can't remember, but it is the Juvia's Place, the coffee shop collection. I thought it was so pretty and the more I looked at it, the more I liked it. So I haven't even taken it out of the packaging yet. I don't know why I don't use Juvia's Place more. Their products have always been top, top quality in my opinion. I've never had issues with any of them, but this one was one like, ooh. I've always been sort of drawn to the Biba palette by Natasha Denona. And for whatever reason, I've never purchased it, but this one just gave me similar vibes. And I said, hmm, well, this is a lot lower priced, first of all, but it's beautiful and like I said, their quality is always top, top for me. So I thought that this gave me the same type of look, same type of vibe, but we could try something new. So I bought the palette. Along with the palette, I bought a few other things. I didn't buy the entire collection or anything like that, but I did get two lip glosses. I did get a lip liner and then I finally got the eye primer that I've been wanting to try. So the lip glosses that I got, this one's in the shade Cream de Cacao, this light one here. And this one's in the shade Macchiato. They both look so beautiful. And so I thought these would go good with the lip liner. Let me swatch them for you. Oh, wow. So they do have opacity and it does have like that sugary vanilla scent. So this one is Cream de Cacao. It's the lighter one. I think with a really dark lip liner, it'll look really nice. It'll be a good balance. This one has a very sweet scent, but it's more like a like a caramel scent hmm Ooh, this one is gorgeous and it does have opacity to these glosses so i think you could even wear them on its own look at how pretty that is i'm so excited to try their lip glosses i've never tried them the lip liner that i got is in the shade coffee bean it looked to be the the lightest of all of them um they all looked pretty dark so i think this one will go really well with the lip glosses that i got it's very creamy i've never tried a lip liner from that line super super nice i think i'm gonna do uh just a dedicated video to this collection so look out for that coming soon and then the last thing that i got was the eye primer i've wanted to try this eye primer for a long time i went with color two and that was a mistake because i have tried it and what i found is that it's really it's really yellow but it's a tad too dark for what i want on my eyelids so i need to go back and get there we go so that's pretty dark and it's really, really opaque. It's definitely like a very creamy primer. You have to let it set or even set it with powder, but I did my eyeshadow with it and it worked just fine. So it was beautiful, but um, I think it's like a thicker formula. It's a creamy formula and this one's too dark. It's too yellow for what I like on my lids. I'll still use it, but you know, I do want to go back for the lightest one. I think it would be 
uh, shade one, I think. Okay, moving on. The next thing that I bought during the Black Friday sale was skincare. I love skincare. I'm actually obsessed with it. A long time ago, I kind of decided not to talk about skincare as much because I don't know very much about ingredients. I know how it makes my skin feel, and sometimes I do talk about it, but I love skincare. I'm obsessed. I like to try all the new skincare out there if I can, but um, this line is a new one to me. This is Naturium Skincare. If you're a skincare junkie, then you probably have heard of Susan Yara. Um, she's pretty well known in, on YouTube, and she started off reviewing a lot of different skincare, and then she became part owner of this brand. And my sister loves Naturium. We love to listen to her skincare recommendations, but I had never tried it. So they had a huge sale, you guys. Like, I think I got all of this for like 70 bucks, and I'll show you what I got. So the first thing that I got was, I was looking for a vitamin C, first of all. That's literally all I wanted because I heard that hers is really good. And so I went ahead and picked up the serum that my sister recommended, which is the Vitamin C Super Serum Plus. And it's a really, really nice serum, you guys. For somebody that's not as well-versed on skincare and that doesn't know exactly what to use for their skin, but they want like an all-in-one serum. I think this is gonna be great. This one comes with vitamin C, which is what we like to uh, apply every single day, mostly in the mornings for an even complexion. It really does make your complexion glow. And if you have discoloration or sunspots, that's what vitamin C is gonna help you with. It'll kind of fade those age spots away. And so it has vitamin C, but it also has vitamin A. Now, if you don't know what vitamin A is, it's retinol. It's literally the most researched ingredient in anti-aging skincare and one that because it's been around for so long, they have the most data on. And so when it comes to anti-aging and what skincare you should be using, vitamin A or retinol and sunscreen are the two most effective ingredients that you absolutely have to have in your routine. So it has vitamin A, and then it has hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a plumping acid, actually. It takes moisture from the environment or from your face, and it sucks it up so that it can plump up your skin. It's a hydrator. It's really, really good. Because I'm in a humid climate, it, this is really good because, again, the hyaluronic acid will take the moisture from the air and attract it and then plump it at 10 times the level of what my face could actually retain in moisture and pump it back into my skin. So it's really good. And then niacinamide and salicylic acid. Niacinamide is also a really, really good ingredient. It helps with reduction of enlarged pores. It helps your skin retain moisture. I mean, niacinamide, niacinamide is awesome. Salicylic acid, I always see that acid with like anti-acne, products. So I think in this, it just helps to turn over the cells a little bit quicker so that we don't have a bunch of dead skin cells on our face that make us look crepier or older. So a really nice all-in-one serum, especially if you don't want to have like 10 steps in the morning. Yes, good. The next one that I got is an alpha arbutin essence. This is a skin brightening treatment with 1% alpha arbutin. I don't know what that's for, you guys. I'm just gonna be honest. I've never heard of that ingredient, but it did say that it was brightening and I have been having issues in this area here, which I can already tell a difference with some other stuff I was doing, but my blush and my bronzer would look kind of patchy and I would look at it and it wasn't my foundation. It wasn't that the cream product had caught on the powder. It was my actual skin. I had some discoloration here. And I have seen a difference. It's not totally gone, especially in this area, but anything brightening, I wanna try. This one says our brightening essence is formulated with 1% alpha arbutin, beta glucan, and orange blossom to hydrate the skin while diminishing the look of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Okay, perfect. This essence preps skin for better absorption of serums and moisturizers to maximize performance. Maximize performance. So I've talked about this before, but I love an essence. Some people just think it's a glorified skincare water, but I have noticed a difference, um, especially when I was in California and my skin was a little bit drier. But the purpose of an essence, you know, is gonna be to go in as your first step. So you wash your skin, then you apply the essence, whatever essence you have, the one that I'm finishing up right now is the Tatcha Skin Essence. And that essence is supposed to prep your skin so that every ingredient you use after that will just soak as deep in as it possibly can. So it really does prep your face for skincare. 
that's what this is supposed to do. I will say that this one has like a thicker consistency. It's not like a water, but it's a watery gel. Um, but I like it and I do feel like it pairs really nicely with my skincare and I've been using it for about two weeks. The next thing I got is the multi-peptide moisturizer. Um, this I actually got from my husband. He hasn't opened it yet, so I was a little upset because I was like, babe, I was like relying on you to give me your review, <laughs> but it's multi-peptide blend plus ethylated vitamin C and panthenol. So it's gonna improve the look of fine lines and texture. It's gonna nourish and smooth. This just seemed uh, ingredient wise and the way that they described it very similar to the Drunk Elephant um, polypeptide cream. So I thought, you know what? I think that he'll really like this. He's uh, like combo oily, but in the winter it's a little bit drier. So. I'll let you know what he thinks about this one. Oh, I forgot to say, on the Essence, I bought two of these, one for me, one for my sister, because she wanted to try it. Another thing that I bought was the Mixed Greens Nutrient Rich Cleanser. It has vitamin C, green tea, and aloe. And my sister had used it. She said she really liked it. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. It, I do like it. It comes in a plastic bottle and it comes with a pump. So that's always really nice. I don't like these for travel, but for home, I think it's really nice. And so I bought one of these and another one for my sister. Now, if you spent like 25, was it 25 or 50? I can't remember, but if you spent, I think it was 50. If you spent $50, you got a free vitamin C. This is the vitamin C complex serum, and it's gonna brighten, help firm, and impart overall glow. Um, it does have hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. This was originally what I was looking for when I logged on to Naturium. I needed a vitamin C because I was all out. And so that's what I was looking for. <laughs> and I ended up with a bunch of other stuff. But you guys, I got all of this, all of this for $70. So they, they had a really, really nice sale. Um, this stuff is gonna be like very, very basic, like no fragrance. I think, let's see here. It's made in the USA, cruelty-free, paraben-free vegan, gluten-free, uh, and dermatologist tested. So it's just one of those like very simple skincare companies with not a lot of ingredients, but what you say, but what they say that you're going to get in it. And so I appreciate that. I think it works just fine. I've been using the cleanser for a couple weeks. I've been using this serum for a couple weeks as well as the essence. And so what I can tell you is, hmm, I have a really great skincare routine already. So when I introduce new products, I like to look for one thing. If my skin gets better, then I know it's working. If it gets worse or, you know, my makeup's not going on right, whatever, then I can tell it's not working with my routine. And if it stays the same, you know, then it, maybe I don't need it. But what I can tell you with this serum specifically is I do feel like it's working. I do feel like my skin is moisturized. I do see that it's like plumper. I've got that little glow going. When I put my foundation on, like my pores are not as bad. I don't know. That's all I can say. Again, I'm not like a skincare expert, but my skin looks a little bit better than what it did before I started it. So I really, really like this. And I think they sell Naturium at Target, actually. That's where my sister said that she picked up some of this stuff. So anyways, love it. Okay, so right after Black Friday, like December 2nd, Sephora throws another sale at us. And we're like, okay, that's kind of cruel to the people that shop the VIB sale and only had 10 or 15% off because they could have just waited. And I do remember saying in my haul, if you see something you like, don't buy it now. Wait, because Sephora always throws this last minute 20% off sale at us. And they did. So I did pick up some more products. I had an idea. I wanted to do a full face at Gucci. And so I said, well, I needed two more products to complete a full face. And so I picked up a couple products and I got the new mattifying primer. I don't know how new it is. I just know that I hadn't noticed it before. I told you guys a while back, I really do like this silk priming serum, uh, the one that came out when the foundation came out in 2020. So I do like that primer, but this one's mattifying. So it's supposed to be just a little bit better for my skin type. So I did pick it up. The uh, bottle looks very similar to the other, except it's, you know, a cream color. So there we go there. I'm testing the primer. I'm also researching the House of Gucci. So another video with a full face of Gucci coming soon, but I got the primer. I also got the last item that I needed for a full face, which was the powder. And I feel like mostly people really love this powder 
but some people said eh, it's not all that so it comes in the same like velvet little pouch as the bronzer and look at how pretty it is oh it's so pretty I love it. I love it. It has the exact same packaging as the bronzer and I guess like, you know, as the blush. The blush is smaller, of course, but it's so pretty. I got mine in the shade 05 Natural, so I will be using this. I did use it today, actually, because I'm doing some research, but I mean, it's really nice. I don't think it's mattifying at all. Does it say that it is? It kind of says that it is, but I don't think it's mattifying, but it was really pretty, very skin-like, and I loved it. The next product that I got was this um, SPF. It's a pore smoothing SPF primer or sunscreen, and honestly, I watched one of my favorite YouTubers that has very similar skin type to me, and she was just obsessed, could not get over how good this was, and what intrigued me is I've never heard of this brand. Have you? It's the St. Jane Luxury Skin Ritual. It's so pretty. It says our sheer invisible texture melts into your skin, beautifully blurring the look of pores, desert rose, hibiscus, and jasmine, visibly smooth, sensitive, and blemish-prone complexions. Mineral-based and ultra-clean, it's your daily elixir for pore-perfecting sun protection. Now, this YouTuber, she has really oily skin, and this thing kept her, like, fairly matte and just looking really really good all day long and again because i had never tried it i was like uh i haven't even heard of this brand it looks gorgeous i'll let you know how it works the next product that i got is um you know i've been kind of obsessed with necessaire and their body products and so i had heard of this i just hadn't taken the plunge because it was a little pricey but you know what we we can't we cannot think about price when it comes to our skin right so this is the necessaire the next serum and I, you know what it had a full five stars on sephora i'm telling you a full five stars so if you look it's just crazy and i was like mm, i gotta try it it's 20 percent off i like it and so it's the next serum is an all-in-one multi-peptide and multi-hydration treatment for the skin applied to the neck and the decollete so right here this whole area here is where you apply it and again it had five stars on sephora you guys so i had to try it this one i think did it was either 4.8 or almost five so yeah so i'm gonna let you guys know i'm gonna try really hard to document that on camera so that you guys can see like a 30-day progress because if it works you guys like how beautiful would it be that you could add this serum to your neck the neck is usually the first area along with the outside of your eyes that shows the first signs of aging so i just feel like we have to be a little more intentional about it and that's what i said with the body serum that I bought from Necessaire. Like we buy all these serums for our face. What about the rest of our body? So excited to try that. And then the last product that I bought, I had been waiting to see if I would change my mind on any items. And then that day there was an app exclusive for the uh, Rare Beauty Positive Light Illuminizer, Illuminier, Illuminier, Positive Light Illuminier. Um, this is their new highlight. And it looks so gorgeous. When I saw it on Instagram, I was like, Oh my, I have to have it. Based on the swatches, the shade that I got was Exhilarate, and I've seen a, a few reviews go up already, and they are in that shade. So I will just do a review on my skin tone, and I'll show some swatch comparisons, but look at how pretty it is. It's a little bit bigger of a component than the cream blush. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. So pretty. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm doing a full video on this. So yeah, this is coming up soon. Or you might see this before the haul, but yeah, so excited about this one. Okay, and the last purchase, Mama Pat. Now, before I get into all the goodies that I bought, I did want to show you my shirt because I'm so excited about it. So I got one of those long sleeve shirts. Um, it says Pat McGrath Labs there. And um, I think I just took too long. I took too long and I didn't buy right away. And so by the time I logged on to finally make my purchase, the hoodies were gone, which is what I wanted so badly. And I wasn't sure about the size. And this one's in a size medium and it worked just fine. So I think like her stuff runs just a tiny bit bigger, which is really good news. But yeah, I love it. It's really good uh, quality. It's thick. And I just am so excited. I wish you would bring the hoodie and the bomber jacket back because I want them so bad. I'm pretty sure it's been like two years since I've wanted to buy like some merch from her and it has stayed sold out. They just haven't brought it back. So I was really excited that she brought it back for the Black Friday sale. Now, okay, let's 
let's talk for a second. I am filming this video after we found out of this new release that's coming out from Pat McGrath. And I just kind of wanted to talk about it because I know I'm not going to talk about it in another video, but I, I thought it was a little bit of foolery if I'm being honest. So if you haven't heard, Pat McGrath released or uh, started dropping hints of inspo, inspo, right? Just like she does right before a release. And when we finally get the full reveal, um, it's like a bunch of re-promotes. I think there's a couple of the five or the six pan eyeshadows. I don't know how many of those are repeat shades, but there's a re-promote of the mascara. There's a re-promote of Mothership 6. And all it has is just like um, a Star Wars you know, sticker on it. I, I don't know. I just, it felt like a cash grab, like a holiday cash grab because so many people were going to lose their mind. Like a lot of people still talk about her Star Wars collection back in the day when Decadence came out. And so everybody was like so excited when she showed Star Wars on the outside. And then when she opened it up, we're like, really? Really, Mama Pat? Like, it was a Midnight Sun palette, okay? And then it just had, like, the Star Wars packaging on it. It was the colored mascaras, and it just had Star Wars on it. So it was just re-promote of everything. And I just, and the lip glosses, which some people said they were excited about the lip glosses because they have been sold out for so long or whatever, but I just kind of felt like it was a last minute holiday cash grab in my opinion. I hate to say that because people have told me in the comments just over the time that I've had my channel that the brand is actually owned by Kendo and that they're the ones that kind of make a lot of the decisions when it comes to the brand. And you know, the artistry side always comes from Pat McGrath and she's the one with the following, right? And she's the one with the talent, but they do dictate how some of those go. And so nothing against Pat McGrath. I love her, but I just didn't think that that was innovative. I felt kind of lazy. It was boring. If you were one of the ones, because somebody did tell me this, like, oh, my Mothership 6, the Midnight Sun is almost out. Um, or I've panned a few shades or whatever, I'm gonna buy it again. Now, if you're in that position, that's great. But like mine, even though I've used it a lot, like it still looks brand new. So I can't buy it even though I really want it, you know? Cause I love Star Wars, you know? I'm in a house full of boys, but anyway. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Like, what do you guys think about that? Like, do you feel like it's exciting when brands do re-promotes? Do you think this one's like a holiday cash grab, which is literally what I called it when I saw it? Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm just curious. But for this Black Friday sale, which started like 10 days prior, by the way, um, the sale was that if you spent, I think it was $150, you would get 25% off. If you spent $250, you'd get 30% off. And then if you spent over $250, you'd get 40% off. So that's where I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because I still needed one of the motherships. And so I'm like, well, I mean, if I could get that, that would be great, like 40% off. But I wanted to hit the 40% off. And there was a couple staple products that I needed. So let me show you what I got. First of all, so excited. And as you can see on my eyes, it's what I'm wearing. I got my 10th mothership. This is the Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction. And uh, she just never disappoints, you guys. It's so beautiful. I just can't. It is so incredibly gorgeous. I am obsessed. Like, look at this look. It's so, it, it's perfect. I just loved it. So I was able to get my Mothership 10. Let me give you a quick look here i'm sure you've seen it a million times but it is just so so pretty i love it also like i said i wanted to get a couple of things that i was out of so i did get another one of my yellow under eye blurring powders this is kind of a staple in my makeup routine i have to have it i use it under the eyes and i like the shade yellow so i got this i needed another concealer it was completely out i literally couldn't get any more out and i tried a new shade so i was in the shade where or what i had was e light medium 11 and i always felt like it was just a tad bit too yellow maybe too dark so i tried light medium 10 this time and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a more neutral shade so it's supposed to be a more neutral shade that's what it looks like and 
that's this one here and the one that i completely panned you guys see how it's like all empty there <laughs> this is lm 11 light medium 11 and it felt like mm, too yellow or too peachy i don't know so this is light medium 11 this is light medium 10 so either way both will work but i'm excited to try this new shade so that's what i got very excited about that another thing that i got was my pat mcgrath dark star mascara i like this one it's always so good and i think with the discount and everything it was like 19 bucks versus 33 or 34 and then i also got another mascara but i got it in the blue so i was so excited so as you can imagine that's why i was kind of annoyed too because it's like ugh, i just bought the colored mascara and now you have it with cool star wars packaging like ugh, whatever this is fine too it's like that holographic packaging super cool Ooh, it's the same formula same brush which i love and it's blue oh my god i'm so excited i love it i went through this phase in high school where um all i would wear was blue mascara and it looks so cool you know and then i have like light brown eyes so it just kind of popped so whatever i wanted a blue mascara so i got all of those makeup items and then i got this shirt and i mean you guys the pat mcgrath motherships are 128 i think with all the discounts that i got i, I ended up getting it for 76 so that's a really really great deal all of these items here like the concealer the powder the mascaras they were all about 19 dollars. so that was wonderful and the shirt, I can't remember the price of the shirt. Was it like 48? I can't remember, but I don't care because I wanted it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I got a really good deal on the Pat McGrath sale. And then like two weeks later, they start another sale for 35% off. So I don't really know what's going on over at Pat McGrath or if there's trouble or anything. Somebody told my friend in the comments of her video that they had found a Bridgerton palette at TJ Maxx. Like, excuse me? <laughs> I don't, we cannot do that to Pat McGrath's brand, okay? Because I just feel like she kind of embodies like the Lux space of makeup. And, you know, she's very, very well known in the makeup space on runway. Like, let's not do that to Pat McGrath, okay? But she's kind of doing it to herself a little bit here. Like, why do we keep having these sales now? Oh, very important. Somebody told me that she re-upped on all the foundation, concealers, and under eye powders because she heard that they might be phasing them out. So I didn't know that at the time that I bought this stuff, but if I had known, I would have picked up another powder and probably another concealer. So I don't know if that's true, you guys, but there's a lot of my favorites that have started to be phased out, like the Dior Air Flash Foundation, um, the Chanel Velvet Foundation, my dior powder no powder you guys i heard that they were trying to reformulate it but they might just get rid of it so word to the wise go pick up one or two dior powder no powders because it's happening left and right and i'm not happy about it <laughs> anyway so there is my black friday beauty sale haul what did you think of the items that i got let me know if you'd like to see dedicated videos to any of it i wasn't planning on doing one on um Pat McGrath Mothership 10, but I might because it's a permanent product in her collection. And I have wanted to do videos on all motherships, so I might do one on the mothership. And then I'm also definitely going to do one on the Juvia's Place Coffee collection. Absolutely. So um, I'll do a video on that. There's a full face of Gucci coming soon. And then I'll figure out how to update you on the Naturium skincare because I do feel like that, even though it wasn't like the most expensive of the of the shipments that I got. It's going to be really good, like an everyday product. So anyway, let me know what you thought. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Go follow me on social media and like the video. That really helps me. Liking and sharing the video really, really helps me out. So thank you guys. I love you. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.